Welcome! A new day! Yesterday we had our first loss. Let's see if we can recover and we play against Tome, the viewer which we played against a few days ago as well. And he wanted to have a rematch, so of course we will have a rematch. And he plays a Chigorin. We had this kind of opening a while back as well. Here we defend this pawn. He attacks his pawn already twice and we will just simply develop the bishop. And at some point we will start moving the pawns. Let's just castle here. He can take, but then we can get a nice open b file. And I think here we just go bishop here. We can retreat it and then c5 at some point and we have a fine position. Let's see what he does. But this is now a weakness in his position. Let's see if we can move our rook here right away. I think we should. Let's see what he will do. And we have to watch out because there's a bishop diagonal here. So we should be cautious about this. So at some point we should move the rook forward a bit before we get the c pawn rolling. But you know the knight cannot really go here because it's covered. So let's move it up. I think let's move it up one square. Maybe let's put it up two squares. Yeah, I think that's nice because at some point the queen might get in. All right, let's see what he's going to do. And I think then here we should play the move c5. If he takes, then we get quite a nice center here. Maybe he goes here, but I think we can just simply retreat. And, you know, although his pawns are progressing, he also has a lot of weaknesses. Maybe at some point we should also think about getting our knight here to trade off the bishop. I think that's actually a very good move to consider. That's what we should play quite fast, I think. This is not a move, by the way, because uh, we could have simply snapped it off. I think here we just go back. That's what we will do. So we will, ha we will have to do. And I think at some point we'll play here. If he goes here, then we just move our pawn forward, but now he has a square here for his bishop. Maybe the rook goes here, actually. It's also interesting. This rook is a bit vulnerable now. Let's see. Let's see what he is up to. Let's see what he's up to. Now he likely wants to go here with his knight. Let's see how we're gonna do this. I think we should bring the knight here. I think we have quite a nice position then. And let's see if we can go like this at some point. Maybe he wants to go here. I think we'll just take it. Maybe I should have brought my queen here actually. Hmm. And let's see. Let's see what he does. Maybe here. He wants to trade knights. He wants to trade knights. Do we want to trade knights? I think we will go back instead. Yeah, I think that's what we will do. Um, let's say, what if we bring our bishop here? Takes, takes. Maybe, what about bishop here? Takes, takes. And then we can trade means maybe. At least this knight is, is a bit awkwardly placed. Yeah, maybe this is a good move actually. Let's play it. Takes, takes. This bishop is still quite strong. I think, yeah, I think he has some hard times protecting this knight. And that gives me some tempo I'm hoping and my rook is quite good here this rook will join the game so let's pre-move this and then he has to protect his knight by going here but I think then I can start attacking 
his pawns. So I think maybe should we I think we can also go for this weakness. I think we should keep um, I think we should keep yeah, this knight wants to go here, that's a bit of the downside. Hmm, but this is also weakness. We could also just trade, takes back, and then queen here maybe, to start attacking on this pawn. Also an option. Interesting position. What about, is this a move? Not really. Not really. I can also move my bishop here, maybe. How about this? This takes... Interesting. Let's just go here. Let's take back like this. If he takes... And I should start activating my pieces a bit more. I think this is now a nice move from but then I will take here. I think that's quite good for me. Let's see. And let's say if he goes here, then I will take this bishop. And if he takes, and then we have to protect this bishop, uh, this pawn, maybe trade yeah, like this probably. Hmm, that doesn't work. Let's see. Let's see how, how that goes. Here. 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 And the spawn is under attack. We can pin the knight. Goes here. Then we get here. I think that's a good position for me. If my calculations are right. Ah, but he can also take. Okay. But now... We just go here with the bishop. Yeah. What if this... I think I should play this move first. Lock in his bishop. Here, bishop goes back. And his knight can also escape here also. Yeah, I think this is a good move. And then his knight is locked in for a long while, actually. Bishop has to go back. And then we have this square. And then attack the rook. But thanks again, Tome123, the viewer who wants to have a rematch. Very nice that you're open to this. And I really like it. So I love to have more games with you. And uh, I like your commitment a lot. It's really nice. Let's see. And I think, yeah, your rating is 12, 12, uh, 30 almost. But, you know, you're definitely playing better than a 12, 30 in my, in my opinion. I think he's now planning to go here. So, I think if we go here, so I think we should go here. Ah, no, this is a good move. If he goes here, we can simply take. Yeah, we can simply take. Yeah. How is he going to protect his pawn? Yeah, that's uh, the issue. Okay, let's go here. If here, we take. If takes, then we take with the rook. And uh, having a great position then, and the pawn up as well. That should be winning for us. Okay, he goes there. I think we will just go here now. Or not. At some point we will play f6. We can retreat the bishop even. Let's go here. Takes. We'll just take back. I think he has to go for something like this.
I think this is a good position for me. Maybe F3 is uh, an option for him. Maybe F3, what about F3? Yeah, this pawn is then weak. Okay, but now I think I can just simply take. Takes back and then we enter his position. Uh, should we do it right away? Takes. Probably, I don't think he will get back. He has a check. No, he doesn't have a check. There's... My pawn is still here. I was thinking I already played f6, which I didn't, of course. Um... Let's just first... Ah, he wants to go here. And then maybe he wants to play here. Interesting. Let's go here. At some point we'll play f6 as well. And I think now we'll just take. I think this was the right time for me to take. Now we take here and we enter his position. And yeah, we will just take everything basically. Yeah, now he loses his rook because I have a triple stack. And yeah, that's unfortunate for him. He really played a good game. I think Thomas plays quite positionally strong. I think he had to break with f3 at some point. But. I'm very impressed with his play. Like I said before, I think his rating is, uh, like his actual rating is uh, higher than the rating he has at the moment. Let's cement this, you know, and then at some point we will just, or right away, we can actually just play the move hook to c1. Let's do it right away. Or maybe get the queen in the first. Let's go here, go for the trade. Maybe he goes here, but then we take. Yeah, this is game over. I think we're a clear rook up. But like I said, again, he played very well. And I think a tip for Tome is to to work a bit on tactics because I think his feeling for positions is really good, and I think he can um, yeah, improve his rating quite a bit. I think he can easily be like a 15, 14, 1500 player, maybe 1600, if he uh, works a bit on um, on the tactic tactics because he gets into these tactical positions. Um, but unfortunately, well, it was mainly the previous game. He doesn't see the solutions at, uh, at that point. It's not a shame because they were not easy tactics, but I think if you play tactics, you train tactics a few times a day or a few minutes a day, I think you can easily already progress. And um, yeah, he's definitely strong enough to make that uh, progress. I think we, th we threat threaten here to give a check and also win the bishop then. We will go here. He goes here. I'm not too worried about this pawn, to be honest. Let's just take this one. Probably he will attack my rook, which is fine. We can simply take it. Maybe that's easiest. Let's just take it and then we'll just go forward with the pawn. And then he is right on time. Then we just start pushing this pawn. Takes. He can have my bishop. Because then we promote here. 
Okay, let's get in another pawn. Five pawns and a bishop against one pawn. Let's see what his plan is. He really likes to keep on going. I could have promoted this pawn earlier on. Let's get going. I think he's hoping for a stalemate. Makes sense. It's a worth worthwhile to try it at, of course. But we're not gonna let him get a stalemate. We don't want that. Let's give a check. And yeah, he can take this pawn. And then, okay. He really wants to trick me. I don't see that there is any tricking to be done. Let's just promote to the queen. And then we give a check. And then wherever he goes, we checkmate him. Thank you, Tome, for the game again. Let's check out the game analysis. I think my game was quite solid. But let's see. 90% and I played like a 1800. Hmm, 90% and 1800. Okay. So let's see. The Chigorin. So this is all theory. Bishop e7. Yeah, knight goes back. So I would advise Tome to, yeah, you know, maybe this is a good move in the position, but you know, you make a knight move twice, while well, you also could develop the knight, the bishop, for example. But uh, yeah, knight f3 is uh, a regular move in this position. But maybe think of a different kind of opening. So what I really like is, you know, go for the c4 pawn and then get out your knight. But, you know, then you get in a bit more of a theory, of course. Takes, takes. Yeah, I think... So here I was quite happy to get his bishop for my knight. I like to have the bishop pair and also the computer approves of it. Rook b8. Sh I should have gone for c5 right away. Let's see. D takes and then taking back queen d3. And now, and now the thing is that I don't have this diagonal. But queen to b6 would be a good move. Bishop e5. Okay. Game goes on says bishop to e7 even okay interesting but i i always have a lot of pressure on this pawn right so okay i played rook to b8 and now started playing c5 and indeed the computer wants me to go knight to h5 i should have done that actually but now it doesn't really work anymore right this position because then he can go here and after this move you have a square here or here so that's not a maneuver anymore, I think. Knight here, bishop to b5 right away would have been a good move. Queen c8, okay. We play bishop to b5 now. Computer would have liked me to take the knight, take back, and then bishop f6, f6 yeah. Okay, get a good position. The pawn cannot really move yet, and I will get my queen here. The rook here likely because this pawn is a weakness okay well we uh, try to exploit that definitely as well but then a different way here i should have traded queens okay trade queens but then knight b takes d1 and rook c8 okay because he cannot come in here right that's an important thing to be aware of bishop e5 this pawn really falls already what if this, and now we'll just double up, maybe. Oh, he likes f6. Yeah, this bishop is out of the game. f3, e5, bishop here, takes, takes, and rook to d6. Okay, interesting. Interesting, and I'm up to up minus 2.2. Well, that's not what happened. I decided to go for this position with bishop d6 i should have gone queen here i uh, basically go for the pawn oh, okay that's a good move he didn't do that and now i got e5 and my bishop at a good square 
Oh, you didn't like that. Oh, I thought it was a clear... There would be no clear preference for the computer, but bishop to c4 is a good move. Because of rook b2, and then what? That's a continuation. Queen g5. Now maybe we go like this at some point. Hmm, interesting. King h1. And then f5. Okay, set up some attack. I did not think about that. But I think bishop to d3 is a good move here and a very logical one as well. What about this move now? I thought I could just take here then, but after takes, takes... Oh, he just takes everything, right? And white is better. Hmm, okay. But now, yeah, we just come in at his position. And now he blunders a rook, unfortunately. I am already better at this position, but that's unfortunate for Tomei. And he takes... And yeah, this is game over, basically. Thanks again, Tomei, for the game. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.